So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 13, a linear function has an x-intercept of root 3 and a y-intercept of root 5. The graph of the function has a slope of what? So let's do a little sketch. And we know it's a linear function, so we're ex expecting to draw a line. And I'm, I'm not going to make this exact. We can just approximate. Uh, root 3, so if this is 1 and this is 2, root 3 is about 1.732, something like that. So we'll just put that over here somewhere. So that's the x-intercept, and then the y-intercept is root 5. I don't know exactly what that is, but we know it's a little bigger than 2, because 4 is a perfect square, so maybe it's over here. So there you go, there's your line with y-intercept root 5 and x-intercept root 3. And they want to know the slope. Well, what is slope? Slope is change in y over change in x, or rise over run. So how do you get from this point to that point? As x increases, you go down root 5 units and over root 3 units. And it should have a negative slope, right? Because it's going down the hill. So, And plus it's going down. So you could say negative root 5 over root 3 and then just stick that into your calculator you could do um, you could also write this as negative and put the 5 over 3 all under the root together either way you could actually do root 5 and divide by root 3 you'll get the same thing it turns out to be negative 1.29 hopefully that's a quick one for you hi thanks for watching if anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help drop me an email leave a comment or give me a call I answer every message and if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.